It's that time again. Time for another low carb cocktail. I'm Frank, the low carb cocktail guy. Now, today I kind of want to do a little bit different than what I normally do. We will be making a cocktail, so stay around to the end for that. I've had a company approach me recently through Instagram to be a grand ambassador, and I thought, hey man, this sounds kind of neat uh, because of what they're carrying. Uh, they're infused vodka, and the company name is Infused Spirits. So this is their origin vodka, their base vodka that they do everything with. It is, a little quick go over this with you, I think it's five times distilled. So through a careful distillation and filtration process, we transform our grain into a worthy sipping spirit crafted for your drinking pleasure. No dyes, no syrups, no artificial ingredients. It is 40% uh, ABV, gluten-free, it is distilled with corn. And that's kind of neat. You don't see a lot of people just tell you what their product is, what they're distilling to make their spirit, specifically with vodkas that is. And let's see here, 100% uh, gluten-free, ozone filtered, that's kind of neat. Um, I don't think I've had anything with ozone filtered before, um, which this is really good. I've done an infused um, Satsuma liqueur with this. That came out amazing. Um, distilled um, from 100% corn, handmade all natural vodka, um, a lot of small print. I can't even read with my glasses. Um, bottled in Las Vegas by the Institute of Spirits Group. All right, so that's their base spirit. But what they sent me, and I really, I'm probably gonna do a video with this anyway, even though it's kind of after the fall season when they sent it. I did some stuff on Instagram. But this, their cinnamon apple vodka, hold. Oh, apple pie, apple pie. And there's no added sugars. So you, but there is some fructose um, in here and that is from the apples they have. Because what they do, I don't know if you can see that, it's might be a little bit blurry uh, because I have my focus set up. They're, um, they take, I got what, four, uh, four apples in here, four apple pieces or slices of apple. Um, gala apple, so it's made with dried gala apples and cinnamon sticks. So what's kind of really neat about this company, they take whatever they want to infuse it with, and they put it in a bottle, they fill it with vodka, and they send it out. So you know what you're getting in this. So there's the color in here, that brown color, that's from the cinnamon stick itself. So there's a cinnamon stick floating in here, along with the apples. And this tastes like an apple pie. Now. The nutritional information, specifically the carb count on this, is gonna be 1.6 grams of carbs, as close as I can figure it out. Uh, they told me what the ratio was, what, the, what their estimates are, um, but uh, it's gonna be 1.6 grams of carbs per ounce. So you're looking at 3.2 grams of carbs in a, a two ounce drink with this. And man, this is just, Apple pie. That's all I can say about it. Apple pie. Boozy apple pie, but nonetheless, apple pie. Um, all right. So that's their apple cinnamon. This is what I was just sent uh, right now, and this is their grapefruit. So if you can see, maybe, maybe not, but all around through here, what they did is they peeled grapefruit and they put the grapefruit peels in here. And this is kind of how I make my liqueurs, is I'll, especially my, specifically my orange liqueur, is I peel the oranges, I take the skins, and I soak them in vodka with a little bit of Everclear to speed it up. Um, but to get that flavor, so what they've done is they've taken grapefruit peels, dropped it in a bottle, filled it with vodka, you have grapefruit infused vodka. And it's not a liqueur because there's no sugars added. It's just the peels. So, I haven't really done it. I've, I've had a little sip of it and nosed it, but oh yes, indeed, pop, pop. Man, that grapefruit, it's, it's, it smells like grapefruit. Uh, so again, here is, there's no artificial, no dyes, no syrups, no artificial ingredients. Uh, made with fresh pink grapefruit peel. So the only thing in here is the peel. So there's no sugar in a peel, just the oil is coming out of the peel, that's it. So what I wanted to do is try to play around with this a little bit. And uh, man, this is just, it's really interesting. There's a lot of things I've seen with some other brands, grapefruit flavored vodkas. Um, I'm not gonna really do that. Just kinda wanna play with something just kinda quick for you guys so we can kinda see 
um, how this comes out. I thought about doing a Greyhound, which is like grapefruit juice and, and then vodka and blah, blah, blah. I'm sure that's been done plenty of times with other, th other people's stuff. But I wanna do something just simple, see how it goes. So I'm thinking about, and we're gonna do it right now. So let's go ahead and build something. I don't know, we're gonna play with this as we go. So I've not made anything with it. You can see this bottle is uh, full, about to the neck. So all I've really had was just um, probably quarter ounce just to kind of get a little bit of taste of it. So I'm gonna put two ounces of ice and one shaker, put that aside. And then the other shaker, we're gonna do two ounces of infused grapefruit vodka. So we do that. Let's cork that back up before I knock that over and lose it. Do a little bit of cranberry juice. So this is Ocean Spray Diet. Um, I put it in something a lot easier to pour because I buy the big gallon sizes. So we're gonna do um, ounce and a half. Let's do an ounce and a half of this. Ounce and a half of Ocean Spray Diet. There we go. But if I would have thought about this in advance, I probably would have bought a grapefruit to garnish this with. So, yeah, well, we won't have a garnish. Now, I think because of the tartness from the cranberry juice and the, the just the alcohol content on this alone, we're gonna add a little bit of simple syrup, like just like a half ounce of an allulose simple syrup. And there'll be a link below to pick up some allulose on Amazon. And if you do, thank you, because it is an affiliate link and I do get a little bit of kickback from that. So, eh, thanks. So let's put all this together. So simple, basically it's a vodka cranberry with a little bit of simple syrup. Let's give this a good shake. Let's find ourselves a little fancy glass. Let's go with, oh, vintage coupe glass. Let's do that. And where's my strainer? Bet my strainer's in the kitchen, I bet. Yep, I think I washed it off and left it in there. Okay, so. If you ever forget your strainer or don't have a strainer, this is how you fix that. <laughs> Loosely put your two tins together. Now you can do it this way or you can turn it this way also. And you use the bottom of your tin as a strainer. So we get a little cocktail served up. Ooh, right on the money. Look at that. Let's see what this is like. That's interesting. That's interesting. It's missing. It's missing something. It might be too much cranberry. I have an idea. Let's put this back in. Let's put a little orange bitters. Three dashes of orange bitters. Let's shake it back up. There's a quick one. Let's try it now. A little bit of orange bitter shaking in. Let's see how this turns out now any better. Hmm, yeah, that's, that's a little bit better. Definitely a little bit better. Um, still not balanced. I don't know what I did. This is what happens when I play with stuff. Put a little more ice. Let's put another quarter ounce of simple. I don't know, it's just not balanced. Another quarter ounce. So we're at three quarters ounce of simple syrup. Now I know I'm not looking at the camera quite a bit. Um, Uh, and uh, let's see, let's see. A little squeeze of lemon, let's see. Squeeze the lemon wedge in there. So 
So let's go with option number three. A little extra simple and a little bit of lemon, just a little extra citrus. Money, that was it. That was it, spot on. Yeah, you still get that grapefruit comes through from that vodka. So uh, I think it was a little too tart with the cranberry, not enough simple. And then we get just that, it was a lemon wedge squeezed in it. So you talk about maybe less than a half ounce, about, about a quarter ounce of lemon juice is what that was. So about a quarter ounce of lemon juice. And I'm gonna have to say this on camera so I don't remember and I can put it in the, in the description. So we did two ounces of infused spirits grapefruit vodka. We did an ounce and a half of cranberry juice. We did three quarter ounce of an allulose simple syrup. We did What's one wedge of lime juice, which approximately a quarter ounce. And um, that was it. This is a tasty cocktail. Man, it was that lemon and that addition of the touch extra simple. That's balanced. That's balanced. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Mm. Excellent, excellent. So guys, check out Infused Spirits. Um, on Instagram or the website. Um, I don't even know what the website is off the top of my head. Um, I mean, I'll put it in the description below. But they do make some other flavors. I know they do a peach and I do, do they do a lemon also. I'm really, uh, can't wait to get my hands on some lemon. They also do some um, broken barrel bourbon. So what they do is they uh, use broken barrel staves uh, to age, uh, rapid age some whiskeys. And um, bitters, I definitely want to get my hand on some of their bitters. So um, they kind of do the same thing, infused bitters. So that's the thing I'm looking forward to, uh, working with infused spirits. So guys, um, that's it, infused spirits. They have their origin, their apple cinnamon, and their um, grapefruit, the ones I've had so far. Uh, and this is a, because it's distilled, I think, I want to say five times. I'm pretty sure it's five. I read that somewhere. Am I thinking five or eight? I don't know. I can't remember. Don't remember. And I, I, I need to go back to the eye doctor and get more glasses. I don't know. Uh, let's see, let's see. Instead of filtration. No, distilled five times. There it is, distilled five times. Um, so it makes a really clean product for your own personal infusions. So that, like I said, I've done a Satsuma liqueur infusion. That was beautiful. Um, that was, we drank that within two days with margaritas and anything that called for an orange liqueur, we use that. So guys, um, that's it for me. I just kind of wanted to introduce um, some stuff I'm doing on Instagram with Infused Spirits. Um, and right now I'll be working with their grapefruit vodka um, and putting some pretty tasty things out there. So guys, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, even better yet, share my videos. And if you're in a position to support me through Patreon, I would really appreciate that. There'll be a link in the description below. And uh, so guys, and guys, as always, y'all have a great day because after this one, I'll be having a great day too. See y'all later. Man, this really is good. I'm just playing around with shit, playing around with shit. Awesome, awesome. Uh, -dee 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 -da. Let's rebuild that. <laughs>